You just finished the new film clip for the church's latest single. Does the band put a lot of thought in, into their film clips? No, no, none at all. I, I never have any ideas when it comes to videos, so um, we always just sort of shop around and get someone to direct it for us and keep our fingers crossed it isn't going to be too tacky. I suppose that, that seems fairly strange. Uh, particularly as you're a songwriter and you're dealing in images all the time, I, I would have thought you'd, you'd have a lot of ideas about a video. Um, well, see, you see, the, one of the reasons I am a songwriter is because I have intangible ideas I want to get across to people. And the last thing I could ever do with those intangible ideas is sort of um, put them into a kind of a visual format. Um, so I just let whoever directs the clip just interpret it whichever way he wants to um, and we just sort of we become sort of passive actors that stand there and play our guitars or walk around in suits of armor or whatever they want us to do this time do you you laugh i mean do you find film images trite or yeah, or yeah. you find it, it doesn't capture what, no. what your songs could no. capture i think i'm a bit sorry that it ever had to ha had to happen this way um i've a lot of my favourites, well not my favourite songs, a lot of songs I've quite enjoyed have been, I've sort of been totally ruined by seeing a ridiculous film clip. You know, the ones with exploding toasters and guys beating their way through walls with guitars and girls with long red fingernails looking through Venetian blinds and things like that. I, th I think that's pretty trite. They all, you seem, they all seem to follow the same pattern, like, you know, this year there's always this style of clip and then next year there's something else. Um, but it's a necessary evil that we have to go along with. As we just said, you are a songwriter and, and uh, you've written songs for Ignatius Jones. Just to name a few. <laughs> just to name two. Do, do you think you'll be doing other songs for other people? Um, I write songs and um, if they get into any other, anyone else's hands and they want to do them, that's fine by me. But I never sit down and think, I'm going to write a song for, um, you know, for so-and-so and, and then approach them but um, if anyone wants to go along to talk to ATV songs they've got a whole lot of my music in there which I can, can dish out. Are you prolific then? Do you churn out mu oh, much yeah. more music than the church could mm. ever use? Oh yeah. I wrote two songs last night and I'll probably write another one tonight and that's three or four a week and you only get a chance to put out one album a year with ten songs on it so I sort of do that in a couple of weeks. But they're all not they're not all good. Some of them are pretty bad. What do you think your success rate is? Uh, for, for a really good one that I want to put on an album, uh, one in one in twenty. The other nineteen just sit on a mouldering pile of tapes. Steve Kilby, thanks very much. All right. Well,